Hi. Hello, hello, hello. It is Positive Love Heals. I know it's been a few weeks, maybe a month since I've been on, but I am on now and I just have a couple of minutes as always. And I just want to talk to you real quick about talk with your purpose. It is so important. It is so important that we continue to connect with our own purpose um, um, and not and don't let and refuse to let someone twist your narrative. Now, you can't do anything about the words that come out their mouth and the things that they do, but you can embrace the truth of who you are. You can continue to walk in the truth of who you are and knowing that, um, you know, knowing that you love yourself and you love you love others. I'm not even going to let Donald Trump twist my narrative. You know why? And you know how? Because I'm going to get my black my black, black skin. I'm going to set my black, you know, do, do, do. you know, I'm going to get myself out there to the polls and I'm going to vote. Now, do I put all my trust and all my hope in one president and one person? No, because I learned not to do that. I learned to put my trust in myself and I learned to put trust in the most high God that leads me and that speaks to me and that cares me and that covers me and that bless me, that gives me favor, grace and mercy, not just with me but through other people that he blesses to give me, uh, uh, to work with me and to love on me and to be patient, to be kind with me, to tell me the truth when I need to hear it, to give me constructive criticism, to allow me to grow and be the best person that I can be. There was a time in which I hated people. I hated people because I trusted people more than I trusted the most high God, more than I trusted the love that he had given me in my heart. I hated people but I, and I, and I didn't trust God, but I found myself doing whatever I could to please people as far as being loyal to a fault, signing contracts that I didn't even read when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But see, I know better now. Um, I felt in adequate i grew up feeling inadequate not 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 that someone just personally said not you know when i say i felt grew up felt inadequate that's because god had to teach me some things i had to learn some things about me i had to learn that i had a voice i had to learn that i had words that i can talk that i can communicate i you know growing up you know um um it was only two of us it was only two girls it was only two girls and for a long time People overlook me and they're very mean to me because I didn't have the gift, you know, uh, uh, that my mother had, you know, the gift of songs. And I still tell you today, I don't sing like that. You know what I'm saying? But I do have the gift of gab and I've learned to use that. I've learned to use it for the positive. Um, um, I used to always say, and I, t and I just want to share with you, stop using that statement that you are the black sheep. Stop using that. Throw that out the door. I throw that statement out the black sheep out the door quickly now. I don't, if you say that around me, I'll be like, uh uh uh, don't say that. My father taught me a long time ago, stop using the word broke. People say, oh, I'm broke as a joke. No, 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 no. And I refuse that. Dude, you can't even use that B O K E word around me. I used to word, used to use the word hate so loosely. I hate this and I hate that and I hate this and I hate that. And I tell people now, you can't use that word hate around me. Please, if you got to use that word hate around me please exit out my uh, exit out my area and if i'm in your area guess what i'm gonna exit out your area i used to hate people because i trusted people and they disappointed me so many times but i learned that i had to trust myself and i also learned that if if you're wise enough and you're and, and, and you're kind and you're loving and you're patient enough to where you can give me advice you can give me constructive criticism and we flow on the same team or here and there we cross paths with each other. Don't you think that one day that that person who you've been giving advice to, that person that you've been feeding, that person that you've been loving on, that person that you've been mentoring, don't you think that one day you're going to wake up and realize, wow, this person has grown, this person has matured, this person has leveled up? And they and, and they may in turn tell you or share something with you that blesses you, that help you to learn something new, that helps you to level it up. Everyone is an expertise in their own right. You have to talk with your purpose. You have to love yourself and love your purpose. You have to walk in who you are and know who you are. And if someone chooses to twist your narrative... Love them anyhow, love yourself anyhow, pray for them anyhow, 
and do what you need to do for you the best thing that you need to do as long as it don't harm anyone else and understand that it is okay to give people constructive criticism whether they receive it or not is okay so anyways that being said talk with your purpose part of my purpose is just to inspire tell you some things you know some of my experiences other people experiences um and i so look forward to to the day when i can complete my writings and get some things um uh, um uh, uh uh published you know um but i'm taking my time i'm not here to rush to prove a point I don't come on these, do these lives to prove a point and get a thousand likes or whatever. I don't do that. I do it because I know that I get those DMs. I uh, People pull me over when they see me, you, you know, at my workplace or they DM me or even at, um, um, uh, 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 friends will call me on my Instagram, even on my YouTube sometimes. People, I do this for those that, that, that need to hear it. So continue to talk with your purpose. Continue to believe in you. Continue to walk that line of knowing who you are and loving yourself to positive no matter what. Sometimes you may have to give that constructive criticism. It's okay if you have to. And maybe one day and one time that person will realize that it was no harm meant. Just like you had to realize there was no harm meant the things that they said and the things that they did to you. All right. So love yourself to positive. Positive love heals. This is Gail D. Jones coming to you from Temple, Florida. I am out of here. Peace. I'll see you. Be good to yourself. Love yourself to positive. Peace. I'm out.